In this lecture, we are going to set up the development environment for Nest.js and we will also install Nest.js on our local development machine. Now, for setting up the development environment for Nest.js, we are going to do three things. First, we are going to install Node.js, then we are going to install Nest.js CLI and finally, we are also going to install a code editor. Now, in order to install Node.js, let's go to nodejs.org website and from here we are going to install the latest long-term support version of node.js now why do we need node.js in order to work with nest.js framework well as we learned in the last lecture nest.js framework is built on top of node.js and also when we install node.js with node.js the npm also gets installed on your local machine and we need npm basically the npm is a cli provided by node.js and we use npm cli in order to download and install some third party libraries from npm repository so when we install node.js along with node.js the npm cli also gets installed on our local machine okay so if you don't have node.js already installed on your machine you can download it from here it is going to download an installer just double click on that installer and follow the installation steps and once the installation steps are finished the node.js will be installed on your machine now just to check if the node.js is properly installed on your machine or not open command prompt in windows or terminal in mac os and there just type this command node hyphen hyphen version and press enter so let me just correct the spelling here and press enter and if it gives you a version like i'm getting here that means node.js is properly installed on your machine now in your case this version might be higher in my case it is version 18 but in your case this version might be higher so that is not an issue all right and as i mentioned with node.js the npm cli also gets installed on your machine when you install node.js and we can also check the version of npm installed on your machine for that you have to type this command npm hyphen hyphen version because here now we want to check the version of npm installed on our machine if i press enter you see it is giving us a version and the version is 9.5.1 so this is the version of npm cli installed on my machine but in your case if you have installed a higher version of node.js then in that case this npm version might be higher in your case so on my local development machine the node.js as well as npm is already installed so i'm not going to reinstall it now using this npm we are going to install another package in order to work with nest.js and that package is nest.js cli so after node.js is installed on your machine we also need to install the nest.js cli so for that we are going to use the npm command we are going to install a package and we are going to install that package globally so for that i'm going to use this hyphen g and what do we want to install here we want to install the nest.js cli for that i can say at nest.js slash cli okay so we are going to install nest.js cli now nest.js cli is a command line interface which will allow us to create nest.js projects and it will also help us generate some boilerplate codes for our nest.js project and you will see the use of this nest.js cli in our coming lectures but for now in order to create and work with nest.js project we need this nest.js cli so let's go ahead and let's install it so as you can see the nest.js cli is being downloaded here it is being installed on my local machine so let's wait for this installation to complete all right so the nest.js cli is installed on this machine and to verify that all we have to do is we have to type this command nest so if you want to run any nest.js command using nest.js cli we need to first use this nest followed by the command so here we want to get the version of nest.js cli which has been installed on this machine so for that we will say nest hyphen hyphen version if i press enter it should give us the version of nest.js cli installed on this machine 
and this is the version of CLI, the NestJS CLI, which has been installed on this machine. So this proves that NestJS CLI is installed on our machine. Now, using this NestJS CLI, we can create a NestJS project and we can start working with it. But we will do it in our next lecture. Now, when working with NestJS, we are going to write some TypeScript code. And in order to write codes, we need a code editor. So in this course, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code code editor, but you can use a code editor of your choice. All right. But if you want to follow along with me in this course, then I'll highly recommend to use Visual Studio Code code editor because it is the best code editor I have ever encountered. And I have used this code editor in all my courses. So I always prefer VS Code as my code editor, but you might have your own preference. So you can go with a code editor of your choice. Now, if you want to follow along with me and if you want to use Visual Studio Code code editor, then go to code.visualstudio.com. And from here, you can download Visual Studio Code for your operating system. Since I'm using Windows operating system, the operating system is automatically selected here. If you are visiting this URL on a Mac OS, then here it will say download for Mac OS. And if you're using a Linux operating system here, it will say download for Linux. All right, so here the operating system is already selected for me. All I have to do is I have to click on this download button. It is going to download an installer for Visual Studio Code. Once the installer is downloaded, double click on that installer and follow the installation steps. Installation steps are very easy. You just have to follow the installation steps. And once the installation is complete, you can open VS Code on your machine by simply going to this search box and there typing VS Code. Okay, so here you can see this option Visual Studio Code. Just click on that and it is going to open Visual Studio Code. As you can see here. Okay, so this is how the welcome screen will look like. Basically, this is the welcome screen and here you can see the release notes. Let me close this window. So this is the welcome screen when you open Visual Studio Code for the first time. Now from here, we can open a project folder. Now we have not created any project folder yet for our NestJS application. We are going to do it in our next lecture. All right, so this is all we need for now to start working with NestJS. In the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's create a new NestJS project.